Hi, I'm Tracy, VE3TWM. Thank you for tuning in to Outdoors on the Air. Hi folks, if you like the work that I do, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. It helps me with YouTube algorithms and it certainly fuels my passion to get out and keep doing more. On a recent family vacation, I had the pleasure of staying at a beautiful cottage. This particular cottage is perched high over a lake, providing inhabitants with a picturesque view of the lake and the far shore. The lake is, by my reckoning, about 80 feet down from the surrounding terrain. Down a series of steep rock steps is a boathouse along with two adjacent docks. On this trip, I'd brought along a portable HF rig and antenna in case I had the chance to sneak away for a Parks on the Air activation. It was now late in the week and such an opportunity had not presented itself. As I sat on one of the docks one day, I had a crazy idea. I began to ponder setting up an antenna that would be below ground level with respect to the overall landscape. Could an antenna set up below the operating location be effective? What if I needed to set up an emergency station on top of a similar cliff with no supports above ground, yet one easily accessible below? The idea intrigued me, so I decided to set up a station on the cottage's deck with the antenna sloping down to the boathouse below. I had brought along a couple of antennas with me on this trip, a 45-foot end fed and a 66-foot N9 SAB Mini Wyndham. I opted for the Mini Wyndham since I had enough distance between the deck and the railing on the boathouse far below. Better to go for a full-sized half wave on 40, which is the band I figured I would have the best chance of making contacts on. Using paracord, I tied off one end of the Mini Wyndham to the railing on the upper deck and dropped the rest of the antenna to the below ground level basement walkout below. I then dropped one end of a 50 foot RG8X cable down, then made my way below to attach the coax and hoist the antenna. At the boathouse, I tied off the far end of the mini Wyndham and pulled it fairly taut. While doing so, I was impressed with the quality that Tim, November 9 Sierra Alpha Bravo, puts into his antennas. The wire is kink resistant for easy and fast deployment and teardown. Also, the pressure exerted on the built-in ballon by the tension on the radiators and the hanging coax were no match for the solid construction. I've used this antenna many times now. The more I use it, the more I like it. The antenna was now up. Height above the sloping ground averaged about 20 feet. That's not a good height, even above surrounding terrain. But that's what I had to work with. I went back upstairs. I fired up my Yesu FT891, set the RF output to 20 watts, and began to cruise the 40 meter band. My initial contact was to a Parks on the Air station in Ottawa not very far from my location. The camera wasn't rolling while I made that contact, but at least it told me the station was getting out. Let's take a look at my results after I turned the camera on. No mobile turret, this is Midcar. It's got time for another couple stations. Do we have any other check in Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike Portable. Okay, Victor Echo 3, uh, Tango Whiskey Mike, and a Kilo Kilo 4 Delta India on the call. Let's go with that, and we'll just turn it over to the next service control operator, V3 PWM. Come on in. Hey, good morning, George. Uh, listen, I'm sorry I did not catch your call. The name here is Tracy Tango Romeo Alpha Charlie Yankee. I'm running a portable station from Lakefield, Ontario, and you're booming into my location. Uh, if you wouldn't mind giving me your call on the way back, I can write it down for the log. Thank you, George. Uh, Tracy up here in Ontario, Victor Echo 3 Tango Whiskey Mike. Back to you. Okay, Tracy, I went over to the vertical. You came up to an S7 to an S8, a beautiful signal. Uh, what city are you in again, Tracy? 
Uh, the, just outside the town of Lakefield, Lakefield in Ontario, QSL. Lakefield, Ontario. I've done a lot of boating up in uh, that area and most of the uh, of the ports there on the shore, but uh, uh, don't have think I've been there yet. Uh, Tracy, my name is George. I'm on the shore of Lake Erie, 35 miles west of Cleveland. Thanks for coming into Midcard, Tracy. Hey, thank you very much. Really appreciate the QSO. But George, can I grab your call? My call, Kilo 8 Hotel. Lima Juliet. I say again, Kilo 8, Hotel Lima Juliet. Got it. Thank you very much, George. Have a great day. Really appreciate your coming back to me. TWM, good morning, sir. Good morning. The name here is Tracy Tango Romeo Alpha Charlie Yankee. Uh, you're coming in here about 15 dB over S9 with a bit of a compromise antenna, and my apology. I do not have your name or your call sign, sir. Could you give that to me on the next go around? Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike, back to you. Okay, Tracy, very good. V3TWM, this is Whiskey America 3, Germany, Italy, Norway, WA3TIN, name is Dave, Dog Alpha, Victor Easy, and we are in King George County, Virginia. Over. Oh, very beautiful signal coming in from Virginia today, Dave. Just amazing. You're, you're, you may be the loudest one on the band here. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm using an antenna which is literally sloping down towards the lake below ground level. So very impressive. And thank you for very much for letting me into the net. I'll let you get on with it. And uh, it's, it's a great pleasure. Appreciate the work you net control operators do. Um, 73 to Dave, uh, Whiskey Alpha 3, Golf India November, and all else on frequency. Uh, Tracy in Lakefield, Ontario, Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. Okay, okay, very good. Please take care. Tracy, we'll talk to you soon. You're listening to the East Coast Amateur Radio Service Network on 7255 kHz. This is station WA3GIN, operator Dave, transmitting from King George County, Virginia. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey Mike. Yeah, station, go ahead. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey Mike. Yeah, Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey Mike. November 1, Julie Shelley, Whiskey Mike. Name here is Tim, it's the Canadian Mike. I'll get him back to the Viking Call back to Lisa. Okay, let's make sure I got that right. I've got November 1, Juliet Charlie Whiskey. And I'm sorry, was the name Jim, as in Juliet India Mike, QSL? Uh, QSL, QSL. We're in the southern part of Massachusetts, 45 minutes north of the uh, Plymouth Harbor, Roger. Oh, very good then, Jim. My name here is Tracy Tango Romeo Alpha Charlie Yankee. And I'm calling you from just outside of Lakefield, Ontario. QSL? Uh, QSL, Tracy. Yeah, I get you about a 5758 uh, Ducat. Yeah, nice clean audio and everything. And uh, you stumbled across the rack through that. Of course, it's out here seven days a week. And uh, every hour is a different deck to go up. And welcome to the rack through that. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Jim. It's a pleasure to be here. I appreciate you uh, doing the work that you do. All you net control operators, giving us guys who are out in the field a little bit of a chance to make some contacts. Jim, I'm just set up with a very um, temporary antenna, kind of a portable setup here, uh, in not a very great configuration in terms of height above ground and uh, that sort of thing. And you're just doing a really nice signal into this part of Ontario here today. November 1, Juliet Charlie Whiskey, Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. I have, um, I've got a mini Wyndham, it's a 40 through 10 meter Wyndham, and I'm pumping about 20 watts into it from a Yesu FT891, QSL? Five nine plus ten for the band opened up a little bit. 
As you witnessed, on a 40 meter band with little activity and with only 20 watts out, my compromise station made contacts to Ohio, Virginia, and Massachusetts. That's pretty darn good in my estimation. My takeaway from this exercise is that portable operators should not overlook similar options going forward. Weigh your choices carefully, but if it turns out that sloping an antenna down a steep hill away from the operating location is the best one. Don't dismiss it out of hand. That deployment could work out better than you think. That's all for this time. Thank you for watching. Now it's your turn. Get out of the shack, get outdoors, and get on the air. 73 from Tracy, VE3TWM.